This September, my sister Alicia married a man again. It was the same man, Seth, but a renewal of vows taken two years before in the mountains. They know each other well and share so much that we know this renewal is something their hearts and lives assure daily, but the ceremony affirmed it to all. This time they held the wedding in Iowa for friends and relatives. The celebration occurred at an antique octagonal barn built in 1883 which stands in the fields of corn and soy outside of West Liberty, Iowa, at the border of Johnson and Cedar Counties. The barn had a long working career and is a veritable museum of farm life and implements of years ago. Its hayloft became a great place for a celebration, but only after many days of cleanup and preparations. Anna Carcamo, who is aunt to Alicia and me, came all the way from Peru to help Alicia and Seth get the barn ready. Before the wedding, all the women got together to harvest flowers from Alicia's garden to serve as floral decorations.
Then we went to a restaurant to celebrate. <laughs> Fortunately, the skies cleared after a day of heavy rain, and the weather for the wedding day was beautiful. Sorry, yeah. break your shoe. Father, brother, and friends did the heavy work of preparing an area next to the barn for the ceremony. People came from near and far. Some came from Des Moines, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, or Keokuk. Others came from New Jersey, New York, Illinois, Montana, Idaho, the Pacific Coast, or Alaska. Alicia's Uncle Pepe and Aunt Celia came all the way from Spain. I came in from Virginia. The bridesmaids include Elise's friends, Linda, Alyssa, and wee daughter Timber, Olivia, with little Thea, and Audrey, as well as me. <laughs> Seth's team included his brother Josh, Adam Kirsten, Lad Asplund, John Yagla, and Thomas Agron. The altar stood before a tree with a backdrop of yellowing corn, blue skies, and rolling clouds. Mom looked so happy holding Alicia by the arm as they walked forward. Seth's little nephew, Niall, was the honorary cherub. Welcome, everyone. Go ahead, have a seat. So we're invited here today to, to share in the celebration of Seth and Alicia's wedding. Friend and pastor, Jason McCoy, led the ceremony. Josh and I recited a poem by Roque Dalton. I read in Spanish, Josh in English. The altar besides the flowers from Elise's garden was a unity tree the couple watered in the ceremony, plus a case of newly emerged monarch butterflies to be freed. Cousins Olivia Deal and friend Adeline Discrawl were the flower girls. They were fascinated to hold monarch butterflies released for the occasion. Said Alicia and Seth repeated vows they first exchanged in July 2009. 
This time they were a bit calmer and more poised, but emotions still showed. My whole life. After the ceremony, Alicia and Seth greeted and thanked the kind guests. <laughs> then in the barn began the musical celebration and feast. The food included vegetables raised by Alicia and Seth themselves. <laughs> It was a treat to participate in a real barn square dance with live fiddles, banjo, and dance leader. People learned the steps and had fun. for the pinata. Proud sluggers quickly learned that it was harder time than they thought. One mighty Casey after another struck out. Audrey finally brought the blue donkey. Huh? Alicia and Seth took their own turn on the dance floor. <laughs> it came time to call it a night and board the bus for guests to return to their lodgings. All turned out wonderfully. It was a beautiful occasion to remember always. I bless this joining together. This is good. This is good.